Hi, so in this week's video, I'm going to review a Tom Love 10.1 inch digital microscope. So I've used a few different microscopes over the past couple of years, and I've had a Tom Love one before, which I really liked. This one's the 10.1 inch one, so it's a massive screen. So we open the box, and then obviously straight away, you can see the, the big screen. So on the side, the plus or minus is to adjust the lights, SD card slots, USB-C for charging, and it has got a TV output if you did want to plug it into the TV. And a few buttons along the bottom, which we'll go through in a bit. So it's got a really good English instruction manual with lots of pictures in there, very detailed, shows you how to put it together, how to do all the different settings, what it can do. Nice remote control for the basics. And in the, in the box, we've got all the cabling, so HDMI, two USB cables to plug it in, and a 64 gig micro SD card. So a nice big metal base, which is strong and sturdy. Two LED lights attached to it. And then the back pole, which again, is of a decent height. So this simply just screws into place. So you screw it in until it's all lined up, and then you just adjust the knob at the bottom to tighten it up. So four pads on the bottom to keep it in nice and in place so it doesn't slide around on a workbench. And it has a battery and built in the base also. So as you can see, the lights work independently to the top so you can operate it separately. And then the back adjuster goes up to a very decent height. So if you've got any large objects to go underneath the microscope, you have plenty of room. So just another quick look at the screen, so there's nothing on the back which you don't need, but it is, as I said, a really really decent size, 10.1 inch, you're going to be able to see some good detail when you're doing your microscope work. So it's easy to put together, the microscope just slides in the top, and then there's two little screws at the back which you just tighten until the screen doesn't move. The screen adjusts back and forward as well, so give you a better view and angle if there's any glare. And as you can see from the side view, there is a lot of clearance, so you're going to be able to get some large objects underneath that camera. A lot of the cheaper microscopes can't do this. It's also battery operated as well, so you don't have to have it constantly plugged in. So as you can see, there's already some charge in it, so I'll just quickly zoom in, just so you can see me dirty nails. So I'll put the SD card in the side, and then this way we'll be able to do some recording. Turn on by the power button. And then the top corner shows it's recording video and then it also shows it 1080p. So pressing the M button cycles you through from video recording to taking a photo to showing your gallery. And we have one touch recording, so you press the OK button and it will start to record instantly. Press it again to stop. Then if you flip it to the photo, you click the OK button again and it will take a still photo.
then you press the menu button once more and it'll take you to your gallery and you'll be able to click through and look at your stills or play your videos back very simple and straightforward so now this is the recording this is it records automatically in 1080p so really really high quality so just a quick look look over a nintendo switchboard one of the main things that i was really impressed with is the fact that it has sound I've used other microscopes which don't have speakers, so when you're doing repairs and you cut to the the microscope view, the video just goes silent. But with this one, because of the microscope, you'll be able to hear the hot air going or if you do any talking while you're working. A nice added bonus and again something I wasn't expecting. And it also has a zoom button so you can get into position whenever you wherever you're happy and then you can zoom in a couple more times so it says it's an 18 times digital zoom which is going to make a, a lot of difference if you just need to zoom in a little bit more and you don't want to be adjusting the the whole screen itself so i thought the best way to test it would be to use a real life example so here i'm going to be fixing a damaged ribbon cable off a switch light backlight connector so we just need to get it into position Get the lights angled so i guess and we'll make it nice and clear then lower in the camera and then just need to focus and then there you can see i've got a missing trace so we'll start with putting a bit of captain tape behind and on top of it just to keep it in place i give it a quick clean and then I use a sharp blade to start scraping away the hidden trace underneath the plastic. So you don't want to scrape down too much, just enough to take the plastic off. Then once it shows, you can see some trace, you just need to put a bit of flux on and then use a solder nine. Not too high because you don't want to melt the plastic. Apply some solder and then give it a good clean of isopropyl. So I'm going to use 0.1mm enamel wire to replace the trace. So we just need to gently solder one end to the exposed trace that we scraped off. And then, as best as possible, we need to bend it round so it goes back into place to double up. We then need to solder this on as well to make it secure, and then just try and smart up as best as possible so that it's not touching either trace either side. Then once I'm happy, I add some solder mask on it. So this will stop the metal from moving and stop any of the exposed parts shorting against anything. Add the UV light and then leave it for a few minutes. Once it's set, I can have a quick look. And as you can see, it's all dried. So now I'm going to lightly scrape away the solder mask on top of the metal. So time to put it back together. Just need to remove the cap on tape. We go back under the microscope again just so we can easily see that the ribbon cable is sliding into the connector without causing any issues. And it needs a bit of a wiggle but it does fit in nice and easily. So put the tab down to lock it in, put the motherboard back in and then it's going to be time to test. So we'll see whether it works and we've got a working screen or smashed. So as you can see, it started up and it seems to be working perfect. 
So I did have a few concerns that the screen might have been smashed before even doing this as it come in a faulty bundle but as you can see the screen's perfect and will be able to re be reused in another project. So now to test the TV output. So it comes with a cable that you need, HDMI to mini. So you just plug it into the side. Once it's plugged in, the screen on the microscope will go off. And then if you look at your output screen, your TV, you'll see you've got a nice big full TV output. So as you can see, it's nice and clear. You move it around, so there's no lag works just as you'd expect but on a much bigger screen much bigger scale and it shows all the details at the top the time dates whether you're recording or taking a photo And then when you want to look at what you've recorded, you simply put your SD card in your computer, open up the file, and it will show photos or movies. You click on whichever one you want, and then you can do your editing from there. Really, really simple, plug and play. So my final thoughts, I really like the microscope. The 10.1 inch screen is a game changer for most people. The microphone on it also, really, really good. It's something that I haven't had on any previous microscopes that I've used, so it's good if you, want to, if you want to do commentary as you're working. I also like that there's two batteries, one in the base and one in the head unit. I was getting some, some decent battery life from it, but obviously you can use it plugged in as well if you need to. The base is big and sturdy, so there's no chance of it toppling over. And also the clearance that it has over 12 inches, you can get some very large projects under the microscope. Again, a lot of other cheaper microscopes won't have that kind of clearance. So I am happy with the microscope scope and i would say it's another good one to look at and i would recommend it thanks very much for watching i'd really appreciate it if you'd like comment and subscribe